everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This is Steve Calloway. It's Steve Calloway 1 on YouTube, and we're going to do another iconic pairing. This is with Etta James and Angelina Jordan. Just inducted this song with Angelina Jordan into the Diamond Classic Hall of Fame. And I just did a whole series on 13 different versions of the song. <laughs> so I guess we're getting our fill of Etta James, or not Etta James, we're getting our fill of it last, right? Uh, it's, it's you know, it doesn't matter what Angelina sings. It all sounds great to me. So this one, the Etta James, I couldn't find a... The only live version I could find of her singing the song was very late in her career. That was... Um, uh, I've watched it before. I think I used it in a video once before, but it's... Um, I don't think it's Etta at her best, personally. So... This one is a composite of a bunch of pictures from what I could tell. Uh, it says best high quality. Yeah, there's nice, they're good quality pictures, okay? So it's not a live performance, but, you know, it's a studio type thing. And, you know, and Angel, poor Angelina's got to just sing with the, in front of a live audience. <laughs> but she loves that too. So let's go ahead and watch that out here sing. Pictures of Etta throughout her career, I guess, her life, mostly career, I would guess, and um, at different ages and different performances and so on. And um, yeah, and then later on uh, in her life, I think she had a lot of health issues and things going on. 
that's I think that's the video I saw the live video I saw of her performing. She had uh, uh, I think she had some health issues, so she wasn't really a hundred percent. She sang pretty good, you know, but she did some things uh, vocally that uh, she normally I don't think she'd done in the, you know before, uh, so she wouldn't have to uh, hurt herself singing, I guess. So, but anyway, uh, there's that. So there's a lot of nice pictures there. That's actually quite nice. Nice slideshow there. So let's go ahead and watch uh, Angelina with one of her influences, Etta James, watching on. So there we have the iconic pairing of Etta James, who Angelina credits with being one of her influences musically, and then, of course, nine-year-old Angelina Jordan singing at a live performance. Um, I, I like to point out occasionally that, I think you guys all know this anyway, or suspect it, I suppose. I'm not picking winners or losers. You know, I, the, this is Etta James. Everybody's heard the name Etta James. Everybody knows, maybe has heard some of her music. You know, she hasn't been around in a while now, but, you know, she, she her name lives on through her music. Her old name also lives on through, like, people like Angelina, who, was, who have been influenced by her music, her style of singing, and carried that forward. That's out of James's legacy, is her music. And... Uh, She's a standalone individual, totally unique, totally unique life experience in the whole thing. And there's no, you can't compare apples and oranges. I mean, you can try. I mean, I can sit here and make an effort to compare apples and oranges. You know, well, you know, this apple is uh, juicy and sweet and red and all that. And this orange is orange and juicy and sweet and orange. <laughs> but, but they're not the same, you know. 
they're just not the same. Uh, both, both great for you know as as they are, uh, but they're not the same thing. So you can't say, well, this one's better than that one. I don't know how you can do that. You know, it's not it's not fair to either one. So, yeah, I'm not I'm not trying to pick winners or losers. Etta James, standalone icon figure in music. And Angelina Jordan, I believe, is already, but she, well, I'm sure she will be by the time she's done with her career. She's got a lot of years left. I think Etta James was up. She was still around, I think, in her 50s, maybe even, maybe her 60s. I don't know. Um, I almost think there's a video out there where I think Angelina met Etta James one time. I'm not positive about that. I could be way off, but I almost think there was a video of her. Uh, Etta was at an awards show or something like that. She was using a walker. And um, I think Angelina might have might have met her. I'm not sure. I'd have, to, I'd have to go back and try to find that video. But, you know, most of, the, most of Angelina's influences in music have been gone for a long time. And um, so Angelina, she's also her own person. You know, she's taken what she likes or doesn't like or feels is appropriate. She's taken uh, from her mentors like uh, Etta James and Ella Fitzgerald, Frank Sinatra, uh, Louis Armstrong, you name it. The list keeps going on and on, Michael Jackson. You know, you can, Whitney Houston, you know, I, mean, I, I can't stop because, you know, it just keeps going. But she's taken what they did and she hasn't tried to mimic it Sometimes when she does the tribute video, she tries to stay close to what they did. But most of the time, she changes a little bit. And that's the, that's the beauty of Angelina. She is a standalone artist all, already at this age, where she doesn't try to mimic somebody. She may sound a little bit like, oh, Amy Winehouse is another example. She may sound a little bit like uh, Amy Winehouse or somebody else or Etta James, but... In reality, she she's always tweaking and fine-tuning her craft, so it's hers. It's her unique style. I think she's her own genre of music, to be uh, frank with you. And um, I think someday maybe that'll come to pass, that sort of thing. But for now, let's leave this here at this iconic pairing with Etta James and Angelina Jordan. Uh, food for thought and also uh, pleasant on the ears. Have a nice day. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.
Oh. 